Hi everyone. So I wanted to come on today to talk about how to make the most of the last two months of 2021 because we're, we're getting there. It's November is right around the corner. And if you're like me and most online business owners, then you probably made a 2021 goal or multiple goals specifically for your business around revenue amount around the amount of clients you wanted to do around certain launch launch numbers you wanted to have and as the months have passed it's feeling more and more urgent to actually deal with the fact that the year is coming to an end and you may or may not have hit your goal so let's dive into how to make the most of these last two months and i first wanted to start with what you shouldn't be doing, but you might be doing, meaning what you're probably doing. <laughs> what you don't want to be doing with these last two months is feeling like the year is over right now. So this is October 22nd, and so we're like not even done with the October, and we have two more months left, and you might be thinking like, well, the year is over, my goal is shot, I'm not going to make it, I might as well give up now don't want to do this. And maybe you're not feeling that yet, but if you're someone and it's October 22nd and you set a goal for October and you're like, well, October is pretty much done. I didn't hit my goal for October. It's, it's done. It's over. Then that's a good sign that you're, you're when November and December hit, you're going to start feeling that for your yearly goal. So if you're doing that for October, there are nine days left of in October. You could get all of your sales, all of your revenue coming in on October 31st. So to give up now is a complete and total disservice to yourself and your business. So another thing not to do in these last two months is to try and do a bunch of projects. If you're like starting to feel that, oh my gosh, it's almost over. So I just, I'm just going to try and do all of the things and you start hustling in the last two months. That is not going to serve you and that it's not going to help you hit your goals. So let's take that off the table. The third thing to not do in the last two months of, of um, 2021 is to go into freak out mode and try a bunch of new tactics that you haven't ever done before. Because that, that freak out, that nervous system activation is like, well, I have to try something new because this all, what I have been doing so far isn't working. It hasn't gotten me my goals so far. You don't want that to happen. That, that's not going to serve you. And if you're feeling right now when you're thinking about your 2021 goal, if you're bringing that to mind and you're getting like, well, fuck this, fuck my business. I'm ready to tear it all down. Maybe I'll go in a completely different direction. Like that's not going to serve you either. So we're pushing all those off the t table and let's dive into what you should actually be doing. So what do you want to do instead is first return to your 2021 goal. So if you can bring your 2021 goal to mind, or maybe it's written somewhere and you already forgot about it, like go look at your 2021 goal and do one of two things. Recommit to it or change it. There's nothing wrong with either of these decisions, but you do need to decide. That's very important here. Do you wanna recommit to the goal that you set in January or last December, or do you want to change it? As you're getting towards the end of the year, is it just looking unrealistic? or maybe you didn't even set it high enough and you need to redefine it. So recommit or change and know yourself here. Know yourself because some people have a really big capacity with their nervous system and they're like, I'm just going to fucking go. I'm going to do this. I'm going to hit set these enormous goals and it, it will actually motivate them where other people, if they set big goals and they don't hit them, then they beat themselves up and, and they they're really mean to themselves. You don't want to do that. That's, again, not going to serve you in your business and actually hitting your goals. So know yourself, know your nervous system. Do you have the capacity to hit this goal, to go all in for this goal? Or do you need to change it to something that is, is more aligned with where you are now and you actually need to grow your nervous system capacity in your business? Okay, second thing that you want to be doing in these for these final two months of 2021, and that is to focus on only one priority one priority for these final two months of 2021. And for all of my clients, <laughs> the women in the mastermind that I run, they come in and they're like, I have 20, 20 priorities right now. I'm trying to write a new program and 
book out my one-on-one -on -one and launch this thing at the same time. And I also am thinking about like creating swag for my business. And I also wanna like create a magazine. There's like this huge list of 20 things at once or five or six things at once that, that they're prioritizing in over a quarter, over a three month period. And we're now less than a quarter. We have two more, two more months. So you wanna chisel it down and really get real with yourself of if there's only one thing I could get done for the rest of the year and feel like a total baller, a total winner, what would it be? and prioritize it. Make that the thing that you're focusing your energy on. Because when you focus your energy in a bunch of different directions at once, it actually disperses your energy. It dilutes your energy instead of focusing it in and it becomes significantly more powerful. So for example, if you, you, you decide, well, I just wanna hit this specific revenue goal for, the, for 2021, that, that's what I want my priority to be then you're probably going to only be focusing on one offer. You're going to be going hard in the promotional material, a lot of copywriting, a lot of video. And guess what that means? You're gonna have to table your, just push to the side, not delete, but push to the side your desire to, to create a new program because that's not gonna serve your revenue, your revenue goal. Because launching a brand new program is creating new marketing material and creating an actual course and getting your audience excited about it, all the things. So, and for this, for priorities, a, a totally legitimate and beautiful priority for these last two months is enjoying and harvesting what you've already done. That can be your priority. I'm just going to settle into what I've already hit for 2021 give my nervous system a break, actually teach myself to settle into contentment, sufficiency in my business, that can be your priority for 2021. And then every time that like creative spark comes up of like, ooh, but I could do this new project in these, these two months, you have to calm down, come back to that priority of I'm harvesting what I've already, what I've already planted and grew. Okay. So third thing that you want to be doing in these last two months or for these last two months of 2021 to make the most of it is to review what you've done in the past and double down on what has worked. Okay. We, as creative people, we get so excited about new tactics and like when Clubhouse came out and like everyone was on Clubhouse and now very few people are on, on Clubhouse, like there's always going to be these, the next shiny object that pops up. And like, we wanna grab for it. We wanna get distracted by it. It's a great way to act, to procrastinate, right? <laughs> Trying out something new. Instead, to make the most of the last two months, you actually wanna review the last year and look at what made me the most money, which, what thing got me the most followers, which thing was easy that I could do again. What can I make better this time, okay? This is such a hack in business and it's so not sexy. <laughs> Actually reviewing and learning and tweaking from what we've already done in our business. So this is such an important thing to, to really, really do and commit to because November, if we're looking at the astrology of November, 2021, some astrologers say it's the hard, hardest month of the year astrologically, the most challenging because it's the eclipse season and where it's hitting, it's, it, it could bring up a lot of stuff for you emotionally in your actual life that you're, you're going to have to address and respond to. So if instead of starting a bunch of new projects, you're tweaking and bringing in a lot of revenue from what's already working, then you'll have a lot more spaciousness to be present in what else is gonna pop up in your life and in your business. Okay, and... Um, so our actions here is first, you want to recommit or change your goal for 2021 and like just decide, like this is a decision line in the sand. Next, you want to choose one priority. What is your one priority, your number one priority for the rest of the year in your business? The third thing is to double down on what is working or what has worked in the past. Make the tweaks that's needed to improve upon it, but double down on what's working, okay? Super simple, that doesn't mean it's easy, okay? <laughs> we really want to like go into that heightened stimulation mode of, of the new thing, 
trying the new thing. I want to get excited about the new thing. But this is how you actually build a sustainable business without hustle. So it's so important. And if you want help with that, I have two spots open for my one-on-one -on -one coaching container. So if you are um, an established online business and you want support in actually scaling and building a solid foundation for scaling your business, um, DM me or uh, you can go to the, the link tree in my bio and uh, book a, an effortless expansion session so we can actually look at your business in a 60 minute um, in a 60 minute um, session and actually look at what's working and what's not working and I can give you recommendations around your business and you can get a taste on of what working together would look like. So you guys have a lovely day. Um, we have a few more days left in October, so go hard on your October goal. It is not over, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.